hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm tiana michelle if you didn't already know if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way you'll be in the know when i upload new videos so today i have a lazy braid out tutorial for you all so if you're interested in seeing how i got my hair like this then just keep watching the video i'm starting out on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair i already have my, no, I don't. I'm doing that right now. I'm parting my hair with the side part because that's how I want to wear this braid out. I'm going to be doing three braids, but before I get started, I'm just making sure that my part is all nice and neat and ready to go. And now that my hair is all parted, I'm gonna split my hair off into three sections. Now this does not have to be neat because it's all gonna be taken down once it dries. I'm gonna be starting on this side, on the left side of my head first, and all of this is gonna go into one braid, all of it. And of course, I can't do a braid out without my favorite twisting cream. It's the Blueberry Bliss by Curls. It's the twist and shout cream. I'm just applying that all over my hair. That is going to be the base product for this style. I'm also going to take my three row styling comb, which I've really been enjoying for detangling lately, and make sure that I'm just evenly distributing all of my product. I also like to take a little bit of Eco Styler gel and apply it to my roots and around my edges because with this style being that it's a lazy braid out, a lot of frizz could come with that. So I like to use a little bit of gel just to tame everything down a little bit. And because it's super duper humid where I live, it's, it's, it's so humid. Like where is fall? Where is the better weather? Where is it? Now I've just begun braiding my hair down. I start with braiding for my scalp because I feel like that makes my braid outs more uniform. I also like to take my comb and detangle the ends as I'm going down just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Since this is so much hair that I'm braiding up, it's easy for it to get tangled and that would make the braid out look a little messy. And not the good messy either. Once I reach the ends of my hair, I just finger coil it so that it has a nice juicy, juicy coil at the ends. I feel like it makes my braid outs look better rather than just leaving the ends straight or braiding all the way down to the ends. Now I'm just going to skip through the rest of the video because it's the same process through each braid and I feel like y'all pretty much get the point of what I'm doing now. I'm also taking a t-shirt and squeezing out the excess water and product so it doesn't take as long for my hair to dry, even though, to be honest, it's about to take a good three days. All right, y'all, so I'll be back in about seven years once my hair is done drying. <laughs> Now that my hair is all dry, I'm going to begin taking it a loose. I usually put oil on my fingertips, but I forgot to do that this morning. But you can do that when you take your hair down just to reduce frizz and add a little extra coverage, a little extra protection to your hair. and I have to lay my edges. I don't know why, I just feel like I have to. It, it just adds the finishing touches to the style. Comment down below, do you lay your edges, yes or no? Oh. 
And now we are all done. As you can see, this isn't a super defined hairstyle because it is a lazy braid out, but bam, there you go. Here we are. Alrighty, so that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Eh, 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 bye bye. Uh, 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 I see you later. Uh, uh, in the next video. Hey, 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 I see you later. Hey, hey, in the next video. Hey, 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 bye bye.